Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Fodger back here with a, a new video. It's just going to be a one-off video. Do not worry for those who like the old stuff. You might hear a bit of noise in the background, but I'm just doing a couple of things which need to get done. But my point is, today you're going to hear something interesting. Basically, this one is very simple. FIFA 19, new icons. And how many new icons? Wow. This is how many new icons we got. The first one is Socrates. Brilliant cam. He's got three versions. He's got the baby version, which is 87. The middle version, which is 89. And the prime icon of 91. Those stats on 91 look perfect. Literally, you can't get a better all-rounder. In, I think, if you've got 89, you'll be happy. The 87 is quite a bit of difference, but the 89 compared to 91 is just maybe plus ones, plus twos everywhere. However, what you will tend to notice is not all the best versions are the last versions. I'll go through that in general. Then comes the first Italian icon. I can tell you a lot about General Gattuso. Um I couldn't tell you as much about Socrates because he played in the 1970s before... I'll be able to do much, and he has uh, recent, and he has passed away, unfortunately. But General Gattuso is now the manager of AC Milan. Used to be the manager of Pisa. Uh, player career at AC Milan a lot of his time. Very solid defensive midfielder. If you were to get a version of this, you would want to get his first version, which is the 85 centre mid card. The 87 CDM and the 89 CDM are actually a bit more worse than his main card. If I show you what I mean. If you look at the main stats for a defensive mid, you might go, okay, maybe you can argue it, but things like dribbling and passing come into it. So, the, as I say, for DM, the, these are the five key stats, anything but shooting. So, you've got pace, which is a little bit of minority, the passing dribbling, which is a bit of a minority, and the main ones are defending and physicality. But all round, Gattuso centre mid is the best version, is 85, which is a baby, and then you've got the middle 87, and the final version, which is 89. Moving on to, arguably, one of the interesting cards uh, they brought in, which was Luis Figo. Now, this one here is very interesting if you look at these, um, because you've got to look at two separate positions. This is the first one of many. So, you have the cam, which is an 88 rated. And then you have a right wing and a, uh, two right wing versions, which are both 1992. The cam, which is 88 rated, you can't compare to the other two because the positioning and stuff comes into it. But if you look at a cam card, that is actually a pretty solid cam card. But then you look at the two um, other versions, which is the 1992, which is what I'm comparing out of the two. The if you pack the 91, you'll be much more than happy. As I say, if you pack any of these, you'll be really happy. The 92 one is obviously a bit too unrealistic. It is the prime icon version, but if you do get any versions of any icons, you'll be happy, to be honest, and you'll sell them on the market. If you don't, that's up to you, but that's what you should do, really, in the early stages of FIFA. Just don't sell it straight away. Wait until the full app is out. I mean, the game is out for the early users. They'll be playing the games and then sell it there and then. But overall, you've got two great right winger versions and a good cam version as well moving on to arguably one of the more interesting um cards which is michael Ballack. now the reason why i say this one's interesting if you look at all three cards they all have individual things which make you interested but the best one in my opinion it's not as high as the other one which is Quite surprising is 89 yes i compare it by small things in my head and which my logic okay so the pace between the 89 and 91 is three different the shooting is three the same on passing dribbling is one defending is two physicality is plus two but if you think the prime icon is going to be so expensive and that 89 looks really good as well as this baby icon which obviously a lot of baby icons aren't as good as their original good playing career at Bayern munich germany and uh chelsea that's pretty much him. And then we're going to move on to Jens Lehmann. Yes, the Arsenal goalkeeper. I don't know really much about his career. And I don't really talk about goalkeepers much. Because for me, goalkeepers, no matter who you have in goal, you're going to concede. That's my logic. So if you do get Jens Lehmann, it is a nice pull. Instead of having, like obviously, just the Yassin and things from previous year, you're going to have some new versions. Which of these? Um, obviously, I'm looking at the 90, the 80... 
1885 here as you can see I look at the small features like for example the 90 is not as fast as the 88 or the 85 whereas like diving as well the best version is the 88 Handling's not that great. Reflexes is better on the 88. Um, positioning, positioning, diving. I mean, positioning and handling is weak on the 88 and kicking. But for me, as I say, I don't know much about goalkeepers. So that is that one. Next off, we've got the very best that is coming back, in my opinion. Good old Georgie Best. Um, Obviously, it's George Best. Man United legend. And arguably deserved icon. Absolute brilliant back in his day, uh, Northern Irish. Don't I really watch more to say. One of the cards which I actually look forward to. I tell you what, if you get any versions, send me a picture on Twitter. Uh, at my tweet, uh, at my Twitter, Mr. Budget YT. If you follow me on Twitter, feel free to. But this is what I want to see. If, if anyone is using, not the line version, it's actual version, that will be really good. So that is that. Then after that, we got Christine Vieri. Um, not not that great card to be honest. It's pretty average, like sort of thing. I don't see much difference between the eighty-eight and ninety. To be honest, that goes. Oh, you have to get the ninety over the eighty-eight. But if you do, just be aware of all of these. Um, you got to be careful of the prime and stuff. This is all on EA Sports Twitter. So. Hashtag EA Sports FIFA Twitter if you want to follow them as well. As I said, Christine Vieri had a good player career. Not really a great icon card. He's going to be similar to like a Filippo Inzaghi. Or um, let me try to think. Well, let me just stick with Filippo Inzaghi. It's good. It's, it's, it is usable, but I wouldn't say too much great things about it. There are so many better striker cards. Even on this list, you're going to see one or two more. That would actually probably get your attention. Next up is... Storikov, Storikov, Storikov. If I do actually say that wrong, please do let me know if I butchered the name. Arguably, this is one of them which is so much better than because even like for example, his 87 is more of an all-rounder and arguably as good as his 90 version. So as I said, the baby's 87. The only thing I will say is here he's got a left wing card. Do be careful of these cards variations. I know obviously with like the ones which I went over besides Figo don't, but be careful of the variations. It's still a 90 winger, 90 rated winger. It's actually really brilliant. It's a shame about these um, icons. They can't upgrade or anything like that, but what a card that is. Um, next up is oh Manchester United, Wales guy. Good old Ryan Giggs. I tell you what, a lot of people are saying Man United got the icons and stuff like that. But you look at these players, they are actually really good players which got on here. Like Ryan Giggs, George Best so far, and we've got so many more down the line. We're hitting even halfway through, do not worry. What a player. And I literally mean what a player, literally throughout his whole player career and everything. What I will say is if you do get the 89 raid, yes, he's a bit slower than the other two. Um, but for me, in general, they're not all three. They all three have pros and cons. Obviously, 91 to quickest out of all of them. And arguably, the stats, which he is lower than the other two, it's not as bad as the other two. The baby's obviously 87, the middle's 89, and the strike, uh, and the prime is 92. Next up is his Manchester United teammate, Paul Scholes. Arguably, one of the cards which he did so dirty in this year's um, icons, Paul's people are saying. But for me, it's a good card. You can't go wrong with this. Um, and as I said, there's so many things to this. Like, if you get a prime, it's a very usable card. But if you get any of the other versions, it's susceptible. But they have cons. Like, that 87 cent to mid card is really average. The only thing that pulls it out is the 90 shooting. And they, I mean, the 90 pass and 83 shooting. And you can get a lot of sentiments similar to that. But Paul Scholes is such a great card, honestly. Yes, the the stats don't actually arguably suit him, but the, if you do get false calls, you would not be complaining. Next up is another Italian striker, Gian Franco Zola. Now, this one caught my eye for a different reason. A lot of cards, like when they give three versions, you'd think into it and you'd go and say, this one's here and that one there, this has pros, this one has cons. But Zola's is a bit more different to all the others. What I mean is... 
there's a couple of stats which actually have not really changed as much over the three that arguably the obviously the prime icon stands out because it's just the prime icon 90 rated but the 87 is actually arguably the best one because yes he's got a bit more pace shooting he's a bit less passing he's a bit less dribbling he's one less physical Kelly he's one more and defending he's two less but for a cent second mid considering the fact that 90's a prime icon it's very doable next off we got five legends which uh, have been introduced to the game they didn't do all three versions they've done their main versions Rivaldo, Cruyff, Esporu, Gerard, and Lampard obviously Gerard and Lampard was confirmed very early on which is the best English midfielder Gerard, Lampard or Skulls question marks Cruyff, what a striker, and I mean literally one of my favourite cards, which will probably be in the game. Obviously, I won't get to use him because he's going to be ridiculous money. Um, it's Silva and Rivaldo. Rivaldo, what a play he was back in his day, but what a card he will also be on FIFA. And to be honest, if I come up against any icons, I'll really be envy. But what an icon team this will be. Next up is Emilio Butarenga. Um I don't really know much about this. Guy, to be honest, I really don't. Um, great stats for his main version. Uh, the baby, the um, baby version isn't as good as he had a want. But the key thing, what I think a lot of people forget about icons, they don't have upgrades, they don't have informed team of season stuff like that. These cards are going to be there from the very beginning to the very end. So if you want to play with icons and stuff, you'll be better off playing off with the beginning and then buying team of the seasons at the end, rather than playing with the icons at the very end. That's kind of how bad it gets. So that's the key thing. As I said, Emilio Butaranga, uh, Emilio Butarangano is actually one of the few which, um, as I said, will stand out because of his stats. Arguably, the 68 physicality doesn't help him, but if you think 90 shooting and 94 pace, how strong that is. And I'm looking at the, the 90 rate card, which is arguably as good as it. Like all around, like the couple of stats are a bit more higher, a couple of stats are a bit more lower. If you've got a night raid, you'll be happy. I wouldn't think many people will be happy with the uh, 87, but they're all three great cards. And another Manchester United midfielder that's four if you include George Best, if not three. Roy Keane, solid midfielder, great defensive player. Arguably one of those which could have been debated both ways. The reason why I say that. I look at his 86 version, I'm a bit disappointed that he's got an 86 uh, version. I think he should have got an 87, 89 and 91. Just because the 86 version is a bit too low and it's going to get very beaten. If you get him at the very start of the season, you'll be using him. But besides that, I don't really see many people using that baby version. The, for me, the best one is the 88 rated. I know a lot of people question why do I say the 88 is better than the 90. Because obviously I, got, I look at a couple of things. One of them is price. One of them is usage. And stuff like that. And especially because the primes don't come out until late. Unless you get um, extremely lucky in packs. You won't be able to use him. Next up is Paolo Nedved. 86, 91 and 89. The only 986 card. Sorry. But I think is very usable at the very start. And you wouldn't actually need to like replace. Because of his stats all around very well. Physicality is a bit weak. But... Sometimes that's what happened. Um, 91 and 89. This this is what I'm trying to say. That should have been an 87. So they went with 86. But that's the three Palo Neve cards. Obviously very much known for his Juventus career. And stuff like that. And we got arguably one of the best strikers for Manchester United all time. Obviously there was a couple which I which I, I even see, stated a few. Which would have been interesting to see. Like Drudie Drogba, Matt Letizia. Um, Eric Cantona, which was the United one, which I thought would have got it. I did say Rude Van Nistelrooy, and he did. Uh, one of my mates didn't actually think I would was right when I said Rude, but I said, yeah, they'll give it to Rude because of what he's done. And what a card his 92 rated it is. All right, his 86 isn't as good as what it looks, and don't get me wrong, that is very beatable, his 86. But if you pack that 92 rated Rude Van Nistelrooy, you will be jumping up and down on your screen. Um, obviously all three images, honestly the fresh trims and all the images, I mean all every single car, like the nev beds and stuff like, the fact that they do this, like they don't have one standard image and stuff like that, is very cool, very unique. Next one after that is Merit Closer. Now Merit Closer is kind of interesting because you have the World Cup goal scorer and all time record and there's a couple of things which I will say about this, that 91 rated Closer will arguably be one of the best cars on FIFA. Because all his all round stats is absolutely brilliant. And you think how tall he is and everything. Had a great career at Bayern Munich, obviously. 
and all-round solid Germany striker breaking the World Cup uh, World Cup record of the most goals ever scored. Could be beaten in the future, but at the minute, still with him, and arguably deservedly, what a striker he has been, and what a striker all round. Then we get one of the very few defenders uh, which are brand new this year, which is Baresi. Now, Baresi is one of those which a lot of people don't know who he is and don't understand why he's in the game. But I'll tell you this now, if you want a better Italian defender, you will not get one than Baresi. Yes, you have Nesta's and stuff like that, but Baresi standed out at the time, and he still does to this day. Nesta and Cannavaro, which would have been... I would have loved to have seen Cannavaro in this. This is another one who I mentioned. And Yap Sam was also in my mind, but Baresi was a player he was back in the day. Um, obviously, I went back to go and watch him. I didn't actually grow up watching Baresi, but what a player he was. And then you've got another defender, Fernando Herrero. He used to be one of the previous FIFAs, if I'm not wrong. Spanish defender all round. There's certain things, as I say, cards do improve and cards do decline. But honestly, with defenders, as I said, the same as goalkeepers, you're going to concede whatever cards you get, regardless if it's Baresi or Herrero or one of the other ones which are coming up. They're great cards. Next up, we got good old Gary Lineker, Mr. Walker Scripps himself, shall we say. Very British striker, you can arguably say. He played for Barcelona for a little while, Tottenham Hotspur is where his career mainly made of. And one of the very few icons which I actually did use on the World Cup mode myself. Very good card, it's 92 rated. It's obviously the 87 and 89. Do have a bit of a weird. Like, I just can't imagine an 87 Lineker. I can imagine 92 and 89, but 87 Lineker, that does not look right image-wise, but <laughs> it was him growing up. What a card he was, though. Uh, what a card he will be, though. Uh, Bobby Moore, another one. Great British centre back. They brought back into the game. Um, I think a couple of people will be happy with this one. West Ham legend and England captain, if I'm not wrong, when they won the World Cup. What a card he is. Um, obviously, a lot of things are said about Bobby Moore. If you look at the 92, it looks like... He has a little bit of a fresh trim compared to the other two, but an all-round solid defender. Yes, there are certain facts, uh, stats on the other ones which you would advise probably going for a defender. You don't really want to go for the primes, but no, you want if you could, you could get every version of every icon and every player. But what a card Bobby Moore is. Next up is arguably one of those which could have been something a bit better, but they kind of messed it up, and that was. David Trezeguet. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this icon annoyed me the most for the way how they treated it. Obviously, there's a lot of cards which I haven't even mentioned, like, you'll know Zidane Zidane is not one or anyone like that, but what a card David Trezeguet could have had, and they've done him dirty. Like, literally, the only thing that stands out about this is his shooting accuracy. But even then, for 91 rated to have 81 pace, 80 physicality, that is really low. And I'm honestly fuming about this one. As I said, if you want, if you want to do a French striker, do Eric Cantona. If not, do one properly like David Trezeguet. Don't do him dirty. Obviously, you have Thierry Henry and stuff in the game, but that was that. Then, arguably the biggest traitor of all time when he left Tottenham Hotspurs to join Arsenal. Good old Sol Campbell. What a card, honestly. Again, it's one of those defenders where you can argue, you can say a lot of good things, but eventually you're going to have to say this. Every defender concedes, you just got to deal with it. Um, I don't really know what else to say about him. And then we're going to go on to our Final two, which is Nakata, Japanese, very good international player, good playmaker, good all-round player. Don't know much about his playing career. One of the lowest icons probably won't be used that much, but it's the first one, which is non-European and South American on this list. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things which I will say, like North America doesn't even get mentioned at all in here. Africa doesn't even really get mentioned at all in here. And the fact that the first one, the first Asian and Oceana one gets mentioned now is kind of interesting. A lot of people will say there's a lot of icons that could have been in here, but they didn't put. But this is one of them which they did put. And a lot of things and what I will say is this. One, they messed up with the icons badly. Yes, they done it, but they messed up badly. And two, they were just a bit unfortunate. And the last one which I know about is Sebastian Varane. Arguably, if you've seen recently, Premier League's one of the most expensive players in the world. Um, used to play for Chelsea and Manchester United, Sebastian Verón. Very good centre mid card. 
one of my favourite Argentinian midfielders alongside Cambiasso, which could have been in the game, another one which I did mention. I know I'm going on about a few which I did want to see in the game, but what's a solid card? Very tall, very built up, medium stat. Obviously, there's some things which you'll need to pick up more than others, but the thing is, what I will say, a lot of the baby versions, and I know a lot of people criticise this, a lot of the baby versions are there, but the one thing what I will say is the baby versions are unavoidable. However, the cards, what you do get from the game, they all are awesome, and a lot of people will not um, believe what I see. All of these icons, which I have shown you, are new, and they're actually really good. If you, As I say, a lot of people go, they, they've been criticising, the ratings have been criticising certain things, and they have a right to be. EA are the ones who make the judge final decision. The EA are the ones which go ahead with it. But all of these icons have so many good things about them. What I will say is this. If I pack a single icon, I'll be over the moon. Anyway, for now, I know this is a very long video. I just wanted to go through all the icons. You can see, if you want to pause at any point, please do. If you are listening to on mute, that is also cool. Comment down below what you want to see in the new video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hope you guys did enjoy a very long video on this. And player ratings are out. But I want to do the whole video rather than just do 100 to 80 and so on and so forth. Because I don't like the fact of doing five videos full of FIFA 19 news is interesting. Anyway, it's been your boys. Peace.